First John, Chapter 5 Everyone who is believing that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten of God, and everyone who is loving him who begot also loves him who is begotten of him. In this we know that we love the children of God, when we may love God and may keep his commands. For this is the love of God, that we may keep his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. Because everyone who is begotten of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcame the world, our faith. Who is he who is overcoming the world, if not he who is believing that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus the Christ, not in water only, but in the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one testifying, because the Spirit is the truth. Because there are three who are testifying, in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. And these three are one. And there are three who are testifying in the earth, the Spirit and the water and the blood. And these three are into the one. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, because this is the testimony of God that he has testified concerning his Son. He who is believing in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. He who is not believing God has made him a liar, because he has not believed in the testimony that God has testified concerning his Son. And this is the testimony that God gave continuous life to us and that this life is in his Son. He who is having the Son has life. He who is not having the Son of God does not have life. I wrote these things to you who are believing in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have continuous life, and that you may believe in the name of the Son of God. And this is the boldness that we have toward him, that if we may ask anything according to his will, He hears us. And if we have known that he hears us, whatever we may ask, we have known that we have the requests that we have requested from him. If anyone may see his brother sinning a sin that is not to death, he will ask, and he will give life to him, to those not sinning to death. There is a sin to death. I do not say that he may ask concerning it. All unrighteousness is sin. And there is sin that is not to death. We have known that everyone who has been begotten of God does not sin. But he who was begotten of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. We have known that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the power of the evil one. But we have known that the Son of God has come, and has given us a mind that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true, in his Son, Jesus Christ. This one is the true God and the continuous life. Little children, guard yourselves from idols. Amen.